It's 4.30 a.m. on a balmy March morning here in a place called Cougar, Washington. Today, Kristoff and I are going to ski Mount St. Helens, and it should be a pretty great day. It's so hot right now. It's an unusually warm March morning. There's a chance that the snow didn't refreeze, which means that we could be going up and down just a big pile of slush. We're already off to a good start. Kristoff's oatmeal exploded in the microwave, but I'm too lazy to cook another one, so I'm just gonna scoop it up and eat it anyway. One of our concerns today is that the wind at the top could be just ripping, but other than that, it should be a cloudless day with very warm temperatures. We're just finishing up packing and eating, and then we're gonna head up to Marble Mountain Snow Park where we will begin our day. Our plan today is to start here at the parking lot at Marble Mountain Snow Park. Then we're going to go up Warm Flows Trail, up to the summit where we'll throw on our skis and then hopefully ski all the way back down to the car. The last time Mount St. Helens erupted was 2008, but it was 1980 when Mount St. Helens decapitated itself. And nature's done us a favor because it's gonna shave off around 1300 feet from our climb today. Here we had about, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles of really pleasant skinning. But I think we're finally gonna break out a tree line here and the real climb is gonna start. And from what I hear, once it starts, it doesn't end until we get to the rim. It is so hot. I'm sweating like it's midsummer. It is just boiling, but I'm keeping all this stuff on so I can get down to my wrestling weight. And also so that the when the winds kick up, I don't have to put it all back on. The winds are forecasted to be about 20 miles to 30 miles on top. So that's gonna be fun. It's getting steep and a little icy. So we are going to throw on our ski crampons to help us go up this. It should make a huge difference. But the mountains opened up to us and is giving us the goods. The sun's coming up. Other than the wind, it looks like a beautiful day. I've ever been on. It is very heavily trafficked. I bet yesterday it looked like the mall on Christmas Eve. As we expected, it is getting very windy and I'm sure that summit is just roaring. We're about three quarters of the way up Mount St. Helens and it's been a beautiful morning except for this wind. It is so frustrating. It's like so icy enough to be slick and I'm sliding all over the place. I don't know what is going on. It's just soft enough that your crampons can't totally purchase into the ice. But uh, man, this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful summit if the wind doesn't blow us off the ridge.
off. Really, really cool. And 63 feet. It got insanely windy up here. Great day to fly high. Now we've got to rip our skins and ski down and hopefully not get blown off this mountain. The winds are insane. And I don't know what happened, but I hit a wall of exhaustion the last night. I think it's because of the wind. That's Mount St. Helens, 5,700 feet of climbing, around 10 to 12 miles long. Awesome day. There we have it. So that was one that uh, we expected to be pretty cool and it delivered on the cool factor. And just thinking about it, I think that's the one and only time ever I have or maybe ever will ski a actual active volcano. So. I guess that's unique. That wind was diabolical. I mean, we talked about it after we had skied down a ways and it discombobulates you so hard when you're getting blown around like that. We were getting discombobulated all over the place and it takes all the control you have not to want to just hurl yourself down the mountainside in frustration. It was nice to get some wind practice because tomorrow is supposed to be even windier. I guess the plan is we're going to drive over to Mount Hood, see if we can kind of do the same thing tomorrow. Forecast is for even windier conditions. But yeah, wow, just a great day. Awesome, awesome time to be out here.